Hi and welcome to Outwell and to our Yellowstone Falls from our ambient collection. This is a four room tunnel tent, it's quite spacious as well which we'll see in a sec once we go inside. It has two bedrooms at the back that can sleep up to six people and it also has two separate living rooms. For me what really sets this tent apart is the fly sheet that we use here. This is our Outex 100% ripstop cotton. Now, for those who may be aware of some of the benefits of polycotton, what we've tried to do here is really raise the bar on the level of comfort and the level of performance by making this pure cotton as opposed to polycotton. So, what you'll find is this is very, very long lasting, it's very, very durable, it has very good uh, properties when it comes to UV degradation. It's also naturally waterproof, although we do put a coating on here just to make sure that in light rain the water should just bead off of it. Um, and it's also very, very breathable, so on a hot day it will keep you nice and cool inside, but actually vice versa, on a cold day it will keep you that little bit warmer as well. So you could say that it will react to the environment that it's in and actually keep you comfortable in the tent, no matter what the weather. The frame that we use on here from front to back is also quite different. The frame itself is alloy, but what you'll see just here is that it starts on the outside of the tent, and when you uh, set the tent up and start to feed the pole through, you'll find that it's actually transferred to an internal pole sleeve. Now what that does is it creates a really uh, sleek and streamli uh, streamlined look to the tent, but it's also quite practical as well, making it very wind resistant and very stable and sturdy, thanks to the fly sheet wrapping around the frame. Some other features then, you can see that we have some large ventilation panels along the top here. And if you just check underneath here, you'll see that we actually have mesh panels inside there as well. Again, just to help with ventilation. We can just close these down though if we want by simply removing the Velcro tabs and pushing down like so. You'll also then just notice all the way down the tent we have these really large windows. Um, but these have been tinted, so that serves two key functions. One is to give you a little bit more privacy within the tent. And secondly, it reduces any glare from the sunshine on the inside too. Just uh, keeping that a little bit more comfortable. We also then have our floating guy lines on the tent, so you can just see here that we actually have two different sections. So at the bottom, you'll find that we have the classic sort of luminous style, just to hopefully stop you from tripping over them quite as easily. And then at the top, we have the sort of toned guy line, which ties in with the colour of the tent itself. And that's what creates that sort of floating guy line effect. Each guy line does have its own retainer, so just here you'll find a small uh, Velcro loop. So when it comes to packing down the tent, we can simply wrap up the guy lines in our hands and pop them in here so that the next time we come to use it, you'll find them easily accessible. You won't have to be untangling a big mess of uh, guy lines all tied up. Something else that we use on this tent is our easy pegging system. Now this is where we supply you with these three different styles of pegs for the tent. We have the solid steel pegs here for all of the anchor points or the corners. We have the luminous pegs for the luminous guy lines. And we also have the black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the tent. So really in the name there, the easy pegging system, making it nice and easy for you to know that you get the right peg in the right place. So walking around to the front of the tent, <coughs> what you will notice is it's got a really good sized uh, front entrance here. So that's going to allow, once the tent is pitched, that's going to allow for you to be able to get all of your kit in and out of here, no problem at all. The door itself we have just rolled away at the moment, but what you'll find is obviously it does fully uh, zip across. It does have large tinted windows on there as well with their own curtains for privacy. And actually the ground sheet will zip to the door as well, creating a full sealed front door. Another nice feature of the door though is when it is zipped closed, you can actually bring the two zips to the middle and bring it down almost like a sort of stable door style. Just um, if you want a little bit of fresh air coming in at the top here. So stepping into this area here, a really good spacious front living room ideal for things like kitchen storage units or even some chairs to be able to sit and relax and watch the world pass by. We also then have some drying rails on the inside of this area too, so ideal again for uh, any sort of damp clothes or anything like you know kitchen towels above your units and things like that. A really handy uh, space here. You'll also find that we supply these uh, handy storage pockets which can just be clipped in once the tent is set up. So these are great for smaller sort of personal possessions and things like that. There's also a ground sheet in this area which is zipped in on all three sides and as I mentioned there when you zip in that front door as well it does become actually a fully sealed area or obviously you can have the ground sheet flat across the front door as well. Stepping back into this area you'll see that the front the two areas sorry are divided by this large wall here. You actually have mesh panels on this side here so you can see 
that you can either have them closed over like this because we have the, the cotton curtains behind or you can have it open as we do here. Again, just so that if you do decide to separate the two areas, then you can have this area sealed, but with great ventilation. The door itself is also a large mesh panel on there as well. So again, when that's closed, the ventilation properties are great in here too. Stepping back into the main living area at the back of the tent here, you'll see there's plenty of space here. Lots and lots of head height. I'm about 1 meter 95. You can see above me lots of height. Also a good amount of space in here for things like uh, your furniture and storage and things like that as well. In fact, there's so much space in here that we've even put in your own built-in wardrobe. So all you need to do when you set up the tent is just clip this into position and that will give you a really handy storage space. What you will find is that the mesh basket at the top here is included and so is the hanging rail that you can just see at the back here as well. So as I say, a really good handy position to be able to get all of your stuff stowed away nice and neatly. This area actually has then two side doors, one on either side here. And what you'll find is each one of these has its own drop down mesh panels. You can just see at the moment we have it rolled away. But what you can do is open up that door on the outside and roll up, uh, roll down this door rather and zip that into place. Again, allowing for really, really good ventilation. At the top of the tent in the middle, you'll find a lantern hanging point just here. And then leading away from that, you'll find that we have cable tidies, which lead all the way down. If I just move this table for you, they lead all the way down to where the ground sheet zips in. And what you'll find is that's a really great place to be able to bring your electrics into the tent without having to run any of the cables through the doors themselves. At the back of the tent is where you will find the bedrooms. And as I mentioned earlier, there are two bedrooms in this particular model and this can sleep up to six people. The way that the bedrooms are attached is using our wave shaped hanging point system. So actually for me, it gives it a nice bit of style, but also it's very functional as well in that it takes any stress off of this top seam across the entire bedroom here. The bedroom is then finished with these stripes, again, giving you that sort of interior design sort of feel on the inside. Some other features you can find, we have large ventilation panels on the doors themselves. We also have storage pockets uh, again, ideal for your smaller possessions. And you'll also find that there's a zip that runs in between here, which enables us to use the universal inner. And we'll just show you now how that works. Inside the bedroom, we have plenty more features to highlight, including a large ventilation panel across the back here, and that ties in with ventilation on the fly sheet as well. Just down in the back right hand corner here, you can see that we have some handy storage pockets. And if we keep coming along here, you'll also see that we have low light windows, which is going to allow you to actually just have a look outside without having to leave the comfort of your bed. You'll then also find that the bedrooms are separated with this full sheet here, which zip zips all the way around. So what you can do is open that up completely to create one large bedroom. So the ground sheet in this area I mentioned um, zips in and what you'll find is it zips on all four sides. You find it's a good quality heavy duty PVC coated tarpaulin ground sheet. It's also bathtub in style so you can just see there it comes up at the edges. Um, so that's going to stop any drafts, things like sand and dirt and dust and things like that. And more importantly, hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. The ground sheet in the front is exactly the same style of ground sheet and it zips in all three sides or four when you zip the door shut. So there are a couple of optional extras available for this tent, including a footprint to go under the ground sheet. There's also a carpet for the back living room and a carpet for the front living room as well. So that's all of the features of our Yellowstone Falls from the Ambient Collection. Thanks very much for watching.